Hi guys! Okay, every single Wednesday until all of this virus stuff is over, I am going to start uploading every single Sunday a meetup. So I'm going to call it UFO Sundays with Faradale and basically I am just going to roll the camera and just go with it. You can come in and out, I don't know how long it's going to last, could be an hour, could be five hours, could be 30 minutes, I don't know. Now this is scripted, I'm just going to turn the camera on and I am just going to do stuff and hopefully I can be a bit of company for you and you can be a bit of company for me. So I guess we'll just get on with it. <clears throat> okay. So today I am going to tidy up some of my sewing room and I do have this this bracelet that I want to repair. I know it's not so related, but it's kind of like squirrel moment and just want to do something like make a pair of earrings or something. Leave me any questions below if you want to ask me anything. I'm just gonna just gonna go with it. It's not going to be like a sewing how-to or anything. We're just going to hang out together. Okay. What are you guys doing? You up so much today? It's windy here. Really windy. Do any of you guys do this as well? Start to start to clean up your room and then I'm I'm not working on anything. I'm basically just going to be tidying my sewing room because in the background, I don't know if you can see that disaster right there. It really needs tidying up. But I found this bracelet and I want to turn it into a pair of earrings because I broke the bracelet and it's like adventuring crystal stuff. And I want to make it into earrings. Now I have all of this like cool stuff, just you watch me, like spill it out. And I do have some like earring things. I have no idea how to do this, but let's try with these things. Do they go on? Let's have a look. What are you guys working on today? Anyway, you doing? See, look. <clears throat> Let's make a pair of earrings. You never know, my mum might phone up and I'll get on my live video. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I have this kind of like annoying cough. Had it for years, nothing to do with what's going on right now. I really sympathise with people right now that have allergies and like smokers. Like, because if you cough in a store, everybody's like just staring at you and get you get the evil eye from them okay i want to finish up it what's a tab funky tarp where did that comment go one second You're decorating your sewing room. What are you gonna do? I decorated mine a while back ago and I went all white and teal and I kind of wish I would have painted the walls if I'm honest. The walls in my sewing room as Tilling Buttons, oh yeah. She was on um, Great um, British Sewing Bee. I didn't realize that until like after the fact when I started like re-watching them. <clears throat> She's done super well for herself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry, just getting some pliers here. I honestly don't even know what to talk about. But I'm just going to waffle. <clears throat> Another thing about my sewing room is I wish I would have like some sort of like, like not carpet, let's just say. Hardwood flooring vinyl anything but carpet yeah and the thing about the cream walls was i just find it really dark in this room i think if i would have had white walls it would have made it really really brighter so comments keep disappearing on me one second Embroidery hoops with sewing patches and pins that I've collected. Oh, how cool. Also wants to make a sewing machine mat and covers. Oh, I made a mat. I've got a mat somewhere. I'll pull it out. I know I'm a sewing channel and I'm making earrings. There you go. There's one. <laughs> Let's make the other one so I can look bizarre in the video. <laughs> Just keep looking at the video now to make sure that nobody's posted a comment. I made a bunting yesterday, like a traditional style bunting. I posted it in my um in the community section is what they call it on Facebook. When I've travelled to the States, I've seen this like traditional style bunting all hung up. It's kind of like a semicircle and it's pretty neat. And I did the Canadian, but I know I'm English. I live in, I live in Canada, Alberta, Canada. So I made myself a Canadian bunting. And it's hanging outside the front. However, I don't like how I did the little hanging thing. I want it to hang a little bit better. And my husband said I kind of did the Canadian flag wrong. I kind of went white, red, white, and I should have gone red, white, red. No, red, white, red. So what I might do is I have a load of vinyl and I have a scanning cut and I might actually make some maple leaves or something and put some red maple leaves on. That's so much in the basement. Just thinking about it now. I think I might have taken it to a cult show. It's got to be in the basement. I don't really take. I don't want to take you guys down there. It's such a bloody mess. <clears throat> oh, thank you. It's actually a um. It's a rug that's covering the top of the chair. So it looks like it's part of the chair, but it isn't. Like, look. <laughs> I watch another YouTuber and she puts like a rug over the top of her chair. So kind of makes it look cool. Got this thing about teal. Don't know if you guys have noticed. Okay.
we go. I've just made myself a pair of earrings in like, what, four minutes? Using you guys like a mirror. <clears throat> there you go. Oh. Like them. Okay, I'm going to put them away. Let's do something so innovative. Like tidy the room. Okay. I like these tubs. Great for organising. They're like a pack of three from Michael's. Pack of three. Show you something else I got from Michael's the other day, which I personally thought was like really cool. <clears throat> like, look at these. Like, like how much would that be, guys, from a fabric store for like a meter? Now I know it's not a meter. It's kind of. I mean, it's a decent length, but that would be so much money. And then there was like 50 trims in here. So you've got like all sorts, like this little, little pom-pom trims. Now these are really expensive and the little trims like this. And this. And I think they were $14.99 Canadian. And I just thought that was like a steal. So, and there's like loads of different colours right now. So you can get like pastels and get like black and white and you can get like reds. So yeah, I thought that was really good. <clears throat> Basically they get shoved in a box like this. And there's a label on the outside of the bin that says ribbons coloured. I tried to get organised. I also got these and I'm not quite sure what to do with them. My mum made a baby blanket and she put them kind of like in, in between the squares which I thought was kind of cute so don't know. I want to do something with these. Have you done anything with these? Let me know. Like not garment making. Like I'm so bad at garment making. I don't know what's all with me. I can make quilts but I can't make garments. What's the deal with that? Okay, I'm going to put that over there a sec. Raise you guys up so you can see me. Here you go. Here you go. How do you store your bobbins? Got one of these. They're actually pretty good. Right, and it just snaps in there like this. Make sure it's wound in a second. Ta -da! I have two of them. I 
I tried to have some white pre-wounds done at the beginning of the week and some black pre-wounds because I try to stop like doing all the different colours and winding them onto bobbins because I was finding that I wasn't using them all the time like like this gold here like when would I use like gold thread so try to use the top thread in whatever colour it is and then the white thread as a white or a black so if it's a lighter colour it'd be white if it's a darker colour I'd have it as black but I try to stop doing it both the same colours now unless it's embroidery and it has to be the same colour basically <clears throat> I still haven't put my rotary cutters away from the rotary cutter video I did the other day. <clears throat> okay, it goes on this back wall here. I did this pegboard, which I thought was going to be a good idea, and I don't know. I'm in two minds about it. I've been in two minds about this pegboard for a long time. And it doesn't really save that much space if i'm honest i think the space would have been better used if i would have done shelves and not this pegboard i do like how i'm hanging my zippers up on it and i do like how i hang my scissors however i generally hang my scissors up by my sewing machine which like you're going to be using your scissors by your sewing machine so it makes sense for them to be by the sewing machine because I generally hang them up by can I turn you guys around so this command hook here should have a pair of scissors on it so let me just go and get the scissors And then whenever I'm at my sewing machine, I have my scissors handy, which makes sense. I watched a craft video of a lady and it was nothing to do with sewing. Um, it was more like craft card making. And she was saying that always keep your supplies, like the, the most used supplies that you use, like right by you, which makes sense. So I started organizing my sewing room with like the items that I would use like all the time by the equipment and stuff. So yeah, if you just joined us, it's just gonna be a live video. There's nothing much going on. I just wanna keep you guys company basically and keep myself company. And there's, I'm just hitting record. There's nothing scripted. Just hang out with me basically. I won't be offended, nip in and out. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Might learn some tips along the way, who knows? Wonder clips. Do you use wonder clips? I love these guys. Wonder clips have a home in a dollar store bucket. And they just all go in there like so. And then I hang them up over there on another command strip right by my cutting table. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate over here and get all this cleaned up and then I'll move over there. And I'm seeing a chopstick on the floor. Great for poking out corners. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. A cat wants in.
You coming in? Come on. <laughs> in. Come on in. My cat's joined us. Really? Say hi. <laughs> Bless them. Cat number two. Move my sewing machines out the way. Didn't know this until I started doing some shows. Watch this. Rock a cord, actually. Let's get the knot out. Let's be professional here. Wrap the cord around like this. Makes so much more sense, doesn't it? And then just pull the cord through. That sun is so deceiving because it's not that warm out. Here you go, look. How tidy is that? See, I told you, you're going to learn some tips. Bunny bag. This is a cute project, if you haven't seen it already. That was my Easter bag. So my Easter egg project. I never know what to do with these things when I've done them. Where should I put them? I honestly think when I'm tidying up, I move one thing from one table and move it over to another table. Am I the only one? Another project. I love this. Really simple to make. I actually use it when I um, am sewing by my sewing machine and I don't want to lose my scissors because no matter how tidy your room is, your scissors seem to just disappear for some weird reason. On the bag bus because it's overflowing. Keep these all in this bag because they're one design of a fabric company and I just want to keep all of these particular ones together but I don't know either I need to get more sewing done or I need to fold them up properly. The bulging. Do you want to go out now early?
when my mum came over at Christmas, she helped me fold all of my fabric up, all pretty. And I feel as though I am letting her down because it's getting a mess again. Like look, look at that. That is not what she did. She had it all folded nicely and pretty. I know. Get this all done again. Am I motivating anybody to get their sewing rooms tidy? Or are you tidy already? Like how am I supposed to keep all this folded? I'm just going to cut into it. <clears throat> Tell you what, this is helping me to get my stuff done with you guys here. I feel like I've got some company. If you guys have any suggestions on what videos you'd like to see, just let me know. some this up. Don't turn that into a project. Turn this into a project. Embroidery. I'm going to iron out the creases and turn it into a cushion.
just spilled my coffee. <laughs> oh dear. Told you a live stream. Don't have a coffee on the place that you work in. <clears throat> I didn't swear. rookie mistake. Happens to the best of us. Let me just show you. I'm trying to tidy it up, not mess it up. Lordy. Oh well. I will have to clean that up after this video. This video is going well. <laughs> Sorry guys. Let's get you back in here. coffee spill camera pops out why videos can't edit them
bit better. I have these from the um, Solaris, the Big Black Solaris, that I need to do something with them. This. Things of coffee down there now. You need to do that so you can plug it in.
how do you guys store your frags? So if you've just joined, this is just going to be an unedited video. It's like a UFO kind of like keeping each other company type deal. And I'm not really doing any projects or anything. Um, maybe doing a UFO. I'm not quite sure. There's a couple of projects that I do need to work on. I'm trying to think of some inspiration. What you did miss was I spilt a cup of coffee on my carpet while trying to tidy my sewing room. So yeah, make sure you don't have coffees around when you're trying to tidy up. That's another sewing tip. And of course I happen to have white fabric. Right by. I do try to keep it colour coordinated and they get really heavy. you guys over here move liquids out the way fabric paints and if you guys used any fabric paint on stuff I did a picture of my cats I don't think I've got any in this room it's in the other room and I used fabric paint in order to create the, the cat faces I wanted different colours of grey and I didn't think I was going to be able to find them I thought I would be able to do um, a much more variations on the grey colour but the, I could literally just get like seven different colours of grey out of paint so the plan didn't work quite as well as what I thought it would do. I 
I use a lot of these bins for storing stuff. So over here I have like chalk markers and stuff. So it's right by my cutting table. And these things I lose all the time. So I'm going to put them back on my pegboard so I know where they are. Follow me. I struggle with lighting so much in this room because it's such a dark room. I like to use like strip lights and I have like fairy lights in areas just to make it a bit more brighter. This seemed like a good idea at the time, pipe cleaners, not sure what I'm going to do with them but keep them on hand just in case. It's a button everywhere. So I made these bins and each coloured bin has its own scrap fabric in it and the colour of the fabric is the colour of the bin so I'm very visual and I know that every, every single scrap in here is supposed to be red or predominantly red. blue shouldn't go in yellow Thank you. 
some threads all over me. I've been doing this sewing and they're all over me. Yellow bin, yellow scrap fabric. White skirt fabric, white bin. See, that's so much better. do something with this.
change my son machines over there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something with this right now. First of all, I need to iron it because it's creasy as anything. me you guys to keep my moment to spin you around 
There we go. Just gonna press this guy it's flat. Actually, I should turn some of that away. Pretty basic embroidery design. Put in somebody's names and a little design on there and I'm just going to press this. Turn it into like a little coaster thing. I'm thinking of a cushion, but I need to like use polyfill, and I don't have a lot of polyfill right now. I could do like a small cushion. We should do a small cushion. Could do a small cushion. You could put that in a frame when you think about it. Just thinking about it then. I'm still going to do a small cushion. <laughs> oh. So indecisive. I do like using like um, canvas. It's, it's really stiff and I find it helps to give the cushion a bit of form because when I've just used on like just all in cotton it ends up being a bit floppy and it helps to give it some kind of like stabilisation so I'm going to do the back part of it with canvas. And when I cut out the other part of it, I'll just always just put the top part and I put it just on top of the canvas and I just cut it out. I just find it saves a lot of time just doing that. So 
pressure cutter ruler. Let me move you guys. So you can see. And I'm going to need a second section. So I'm going to use this one as my pattern for the next one. Put it on top. It's all straight line cutting, eh? more of that used stuff anyway do you know what i'm not going to throw it to one side i'm actually going to put it away after i just tidy my room one second here if you like more edited videos <laughs> this is probably not the video to watch but i do lots of other videos where they are extremely edited down I'm just going to give these a press. I'm sure my iron's going. I kill all irons and I don't know what I do to them. I don't even bother wasting any money on them anymore. I went from the top of the line, the winter, that did not last very long to like literally like 20 book irons now because I just go through them. On one of the bottoms here and if you wanted to see an edited cushion making video I have one and it's called fabric postage stamp cushion cover or something along the line of that and that if you want to see one really quick is the video for you I'm just going to do another one here.
So we're just hemming this in place. Ow, that was steam. Um, another one. Now I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine. This sewing machine here is the Baby Luck Soprano sewing machine, and it's a great in introductionary or intermediate, should I say, sewing machine. Um, it comes with a free extension table. Just show you that. So if you want to do, if you want to have an extension table up to give you more space, it allows that. And also, it comes with a knee lift so you can plug that right in here and it helps to raise the press the foot up and down or it also changes the width the width control on some of your decorative stitches This machine is classed as a quilting machine. So if you like quilting, this is the machine for you. So here I've got my J foot on. Let's see what kind of camera. Let me move you guys down. I have my J4 on my machine and I am going to lengthen my stitch lengths to like a 3.0 and I'm just going to put this into my machine here. And I'm first going to hem this into place. So I'm going to go forward and I'm just going to reverse over the stitches to lock them in and then go forward. And then do the same at the end of your stitches. You just want to reverse over them to lock them in. And there we go. We have one. Hemmed. I'm going to do the second one. I would generally do most of my cushion covers on my serger, but I also like to show you what it's like to sew on a sewing machine as well. Some people may not have the advantage of having a serger. There we go. Just went in. This is the next one hemmed. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the over casting stitch in order to keep these from fraying on us. So I am going to change the foot. I've got the foot in here. This is the foot you would use. Is that the one? No, it's not. I'm lying to you guys. There we go. This is the foot you would use. This is your overcasting foot. So the thing in the center, it jumps over this like metal bar in order to create the stitches. 
So when I put my overcasting stitch onto my machine, my machine will actually tell me that it needs the G foot. So one second here. And overcasting stitches look like this. I'm hoping I don't pop you all out here one second. Like all, is it all of these ones? Let me have a look at the book. All your sewing machines come with your instruction guide. And in the instruction guide, it will have a list of all your stitches. So do not lose your instruction book. So I'll just put it down here. See all these here? is telling you all the different stitches for your overcasting and it will always give you some instructions for like the different types of fabric you're using and it'll let you know if you can use a twin needle which you won't be able to. So I'm just going to use number 15. I'm sorry if you keep cutting out. I don't know if it's my internet, your internet. Everybody's on the internet right now, so it's hard with the internet. So I'm just going to show you the screen. So I've just put it on an overcasting stitch and it's now telling me that it's foot G. So we know that we've got the right foot selected. Another thing with your overcasting for is it has a guide so you know exactly where to guide the fabric and that's my iron shutting off. Doesn't work properly but it likes to tell me when it's shutting off. So if you want your fabric to stop fraying, you're going to have to do an overcasting stitch. I can't zoom in on this, one sec. So it kind of locks in the stitches, like so. So if you don't have a serger, 
this is what you were going to do, an overcast and stitch. So I'm going to do it. It actually went fabulously over this quite thick fabric here. So I'm going to do the other three sides. That is all three sections done and I'm going to do the other three sections.
Oh, it's so hot by this window. Sun is shining, but it's very windy. Apparently we're getting 60 kilometers per hour wind today. It's gonna be breezy. Okay, let's move the guys back over here. So this is what we have so far. And I'm going to do like an envelope style cushion cover. And some of this is going to be a little bit wasted that I've just done right now. So I'm going to put, you want to do it like halfway. And you're going to do it right sides facing. So you're going to make sure that what we've just tucked under is going to be on the reverse side. So you've got pretty sides of the fabric facing. And this one goes on top of here. So when you move it like this, you don't see any of that ugly turned up fabric and then your turns are going to be kind of like in the middle of your cushion and I'm just going to flip this over and then these two parts here at either end I'm just going to cut them off because we don't need them I also think I'm going to work some trim into this. So I'm going to just have a look in here. Don't want really to use this one up just yet. I like it. It's really pretty. Let's open all these up. use this one okay I'm going to use this purple trim here Put it to size. Do one at the top and one at the bottom. Because I don't have enough for all the way around. Hold it over. Just gonna light the trim like that. And I'm gonna fold this back over. And I'm gonna use some wonder clips to keep it in place so it doesn't move on me.
It's a bit fiddly. Then I'm going to put that there like so. Hope you can see this. I know the video quality isn't so good on live videos. I generally like to do edited versions of videos, so if you like shorter videos, not like where we're we up to now, an hour and a half videos, then obviously you can check out my other videos. They're generally like six minutes long. I'm doing this live because I just want some company. I thought you'd give you some company. There really isn't a theme to this video. I am just doing my thing. Now I just need to change that foot. Really, I should have probably overcasted all of the white section as well. But trust me, I'm not going to go and undo all of that I've just done. I just thought about it. Hey, if you want to do this cushion, overcast the white bit as well as the back bit. Keep my needle down. Oh, one sec. I need to change the stitches. I'm just going to put it onto a regular straight stitch. And needle down. I'm just going to sew all the way around. I don't have to worry about any openings, just sew all the way around. clips around the side of my cushion. You guys didn't tell me. I'm falling out with you now. Clip the other side of the cushion before I forget. There we go.
There we go. That is everybody all stitched down. So moment of truth, did I catch everybody? Did I catch all the trim? Does it look good? Let's have a look. Let me get my friend the chopstick. I just want to poke the corner through. I don't like to do this with a pair of scissors because it's too sharp. You want to do this with something that's a bit more pointed, like blunt. And Do you see how you're going to have like this trim just poking through at the top there? And Get your chopstick and poke that through. So the light is terrible. Like I said, if you want to watch a more refined YouTube tutorial, you can watch some of my videos. They're literally like six minutes long and they are a lot more edited. Obviously with live videos, you can't edit them. So you have to follow along live. I am going to press this all down oh my word I'm making you all sick here we go Trying to stay tidy. Let's press. Gonna lint roll it a little bit as well. Now I'm just going to put some polyfill in it just so you can get the effect of it. One second here. I don't have much left.
And this is obviously not how you would follow a cushion, I know. I don't have the right size of size of cushion for this little small one and I'll have to just make a cushion insert at a later date. This is totally not how you would do a cushion on the inside. I've just made it look worse. <laughs> oh no. I'm just going to keep filling. If you actually had a proper cushion in here, it would look awesome. Hi there. I was working in my garden yesterday and it's extremely windy today so I'm glad I did my garden work yesterday. Today I'm doing a live and this is the cushion. I also think it looks great by adding these trims. cute like it mr and mrs smith said they like it too anyway i have been a blabbering on for like Close to two hours right now. You don't want to see Katri. So I am going to love you and leave you guys. And I'll probably see, well, I will. I'll see you next week. I'll see you next Sunday. And I'll try to be a bit more organized with what kind of projects I'm going to do. But I don't want to stress myself out. I'm literally just going to put the camera on and just go for it. So. Hope you've enjoyed it i hope i've kept you company a little bit and i'll see you next sunday for a live and i'll see you on a wednesday for an actual edited version of a video because they are so much easier than these ones these ones are quite hard so thank you for watching guys bye